In this lesson, we'll continue our review of PSAT Math Test 2, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, questions 25 through 27, the final three problem-solving questions, so we know these will be difficult. All right, let's take a look at 25. The population of squirrels in a park has been doubling every 15 years. Which of the following statements describes the type of function that best models the relationship between the population of squirrels in the park and the number of 15-year time periods. And if you look at the choices, we have to choose between exponential growth and linear growth and the reason. And so these are common questions. We're told that the population of squirrels doubles every year. So from 0 to 15, let's just say we start with 100 squirrels. We know at 15 it would be 200. And then from 15 to 30, that's the next 15-year period, this 20, 200 doubles, so we're at 400. So you should recognize this is not linear growth because it's not increasing at the same amount. This is exponential growth. It's increasing by the same percentage. And so these are the only two with exponential growth. We know the linear growth question answers are out. Exponential growth because the population of the squirrels is increasing by the same amount. No, it's not the same amount. And that would be linear anyway. Exponential growth because the population of the squirrels is increasing by the same percentage each 15. Yes. So the same percentage is not this is not the same as the same amount. And so the answer here is B. All right, let's take a look at question 26. If function f is defined by this function, what is f of x minus 4? And so these are just substitution questions. Whenever we see an x, we're going to plug in x minus 4, the quantity, because that's what's in the brackets. And so we have 3. Here's our x, so we're going to put in x minus 4. We've got to square that quantity minus 5. We have another x, so we're going to put the quantity x minus 4 and then plus 4. And so we have to FOIL this out, right? x minus 4 times x minus 4. We know that's going to be x squared. Minus 4x minus 4x is minus 8x. And then we have plus 16. And remember, this whole quantity gets multiplied by 3. And so this becomes 3x squared minus 24x. 3 times 16 is 48. And I'll bring down these terms. So this is going to be minus 5x minus a minus. That's going to be plus 20 and plus 4. And so now we just combine the like terms. And so here, this is the only x squared. So we have 3x squared. And we have a minus 24x and a minus 5x. So it's going to be minus 29x. And then we have the numbers. 48 and 20, that is 68 plus 4 is 72. And that's our answer, choice D. All right, let's take a look at question number 27. The equations of two lines are shown above. If the lines are graphed in the xy plane, which of the following ordered pairs represents the point in which the lines would intersect? So we've seen these before. This is system of equations. We've got two equations here, and we can just use substitution. And this lends itself to substitution because we have x equals one third y. So I'm just going to plug in one third y for this x, and then we're only dealing with y. So we have 154 minus 4y, 10 times one third y. Just substituted this for x, and so that's going to be 10 thirds y. I am going to change this minus 4 thirds. I'm going to change it in terms of um, minus 4y into thirds so I can be consistent with the right side. So that would be the same as minus 12 thirds y. And then we have 154. And so now we're going to add the 12 thirds y over. So we got 154, and that would be 22 thirds y. And this is calculator permitted. So let's get out the calculator here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 to clear that. So I have 3 times 54, 3 times 154. And then 462 is going to equal 22y. And so I'm going to divide by 22. And this will give us the value for y. So y equals 21. If you notice, there's only one choice with 21. It's d. And we can just double check. We're going to plug it in. Let's plug into the top equation, I know one third of 21 equals seven, and that's what the value of x is. And so the answer here is D.